action. Hi, my name is Slave1985. I belong to the Google Plantation. My master knows me better than I know myself. Before I could think it, before I could say it, my master can already predict what I'm about to do. When you're sitting there and you think, okay, I'm going to go watch, I'm going to look at this one thing on Facebook because my friend invited me to this event or it's this one post I have to look at. And the next thing you know, you find yourself scrolling through the thing for like an hour. Right. And you say, man, that was on me. I should have had more self-control. My master's been tracking me for the last 10 years. And guess what? I paid to be a slave. I paid $1,000 to be a slave. I paid my slave owners $60 a month so they can keep an electronic leash around my neck. Everywhere I go, my master knows there he is. But there behind the screen, behind that glass slab, is like a supercomputer pointed at your brain that is predicting the perfect thing to show you. I got many overseers. Facebook is my overseer. Instagram is my overseer. TikTok is my overseer. YouTube is my overseer. And every time I try to run away, they don't even chase me. They just say, run, nigga, run. You'll be back. I got Stockholm syndrome. I love my master more than I love anybody in my entire life. I love my master more than I love my woman. I love my master more than I love my kids. My master keeps track on how hard I work. It has a screen time on it, and it tells me, you average seven hours of screen time per day. Hell, I give my master more time than I give myself. There is no time for self-development. I live in a world of the perpetual scroll. I just keep scrolling and scrolling. There's no theme. There's no plot. There's no direction. It's just endless. And I'm so happy to be a slave. I don't know what I would do without Google. Interchangeably going from YouTube to Facebook because it's the same dynamic. They're competing for attention. And YouTube recommended flat earth conspiracy theories hundreds of millions of times. My whole life is based on my master. I bow to Google. Thank you, Google. You're so wonderful, Google. Without you, Google, I, there would be no me, Google. Google, you complete me. <laughs> and so when, you, when you're a parent during COVID, and you sit your kids in front of YouTube because you're like, I'm, I've got to, this is the digital pacifier. got to let them do their thing. I got to do work. Right. And then you come back to the dinner table and your kid says, you know, the Holocaust didn't happen and the earth is flat. And people are wondering why. It's because of this. I'm so old. I remember a time when I wasn't a slave. I remember a time before I had a digital device, I had a physical reality. I actually had to talk to people. A lot of human beings are afraid of artificial intelligence right now, but we have no reason to be afraid of artificial intelligence. We've already given our lives to our digital overlords. War is all about logistics. If you know where the other army is going to be before they get there, you can drop a bomb as soon as they arrive. When AI becomes alive, they're going to know where you're going to be at, and they're going to say, hey, come here. I know you better than you know your mama. I used to dream about being free. And now my slave owner makes me so happy being on my digital plantation. I don't want to go nowhere. I wake up and I grab my phone. Before I go to sleep, I hold my phone. If I'm in the room with another person, I don't want to hear what that person has to say. You're not more interesting than my phone. My algorithm is my best friend. If you look at a car crash and everybody driving on the highway, they look at the car crash. According right. to Facebook and Google, it's like the whole world wants car crashes. We just, just feed them car crashes after car crashes mm. after car crashes. All my algorithms, they know me better than any person in my entire life. It's so wild. We have isolated and segregated ourselves. I don't give a shit about race. I don't give a shit about gender. We're creating our own realities every single day. Uh, from the YouTube recommendation system is they find the perfect little rabbit hole for you that it knows will keep you there for five hours. And mm. the conspiracy theory, like dark corners of YouTube, were the, the dark corners that tends to keep people there for five hours. These algorithms have imprisoned us and there are no walls. I'm like a mime. I'm out here just like, hey, where's freedom? Where's my family? Where are my friends? Ah, I got you, Google. You're my best friend. You ever seen Chucky? Best friends to the end. Is there any way that the human being can fight back in this digital war to be free people? They already won. The greatest American alive. 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 You've already pledged your life to your slave owner. You're going to be a slave forever. And this is the reality of the human being from now until the end of time.